Fulham 2, Wolves nil yesterday, getting back late, having been on the train, and those of you who were on the train would have known how long that took, it was the most disappointing and the worst I think we've played for the whole of this season. There was a lack of creativity in the midfield, there was a lot of players who just didn't turn up and weren't at the races yesterday, and therefore that all led to the defeat. You had a team in Fulham who are in good form, the momentum is behind them, they're playing well and they looked hungry and they wanted every ball more than we did and in the end that's what won them the game. They only really had two chances but they took them and that's at this level and this stage of the season that's all that's going to matter. We didn't create enough chances as I just said but the one real guilt edge chance that we made very very close to the end from Diogo Jota and a Fobi working together just summed up the whole afternoon. We had a Phoebe who should have shot earlier, didn't, had his shot saved by the goalkeeper, came back to him, then he squared it to Jota, open goal, and blazed it over. And that just that just summed it up really. We weren't good enough, we weren't clinical enough. Some of the, the decisions again from Nuno, questionable, not having Jota in the starting eleven for the first time this season. Obviously without Neves, so then we had to rely on Undai and Sice, who the two of them we've seen now don't work well together. Uh, against Birmingham City earlier on in the season, again they lacked creativity, we didn't, we weren't clinical enough in that game, and I think it's down to missing Neves. But we now know he's not going to be here against Reading as well, so we need to find a solution, as Nuno always says. We need somebody who's going to be able to win the ball back and use it quickly, like he does. Whether that's Morgan Gibbs-White, I don't know. He came on yesterday, didn't have the impact that he did in previous games uh, in the last month or so. But I don't think that's any fault of his own. I think he was just up against Kevin McDonald and Tom Kearney, who are two more experienced and tougher uh, centre midfielders. I think the only positive to come out of the game yesterday was Ivan Cavallero. He looked like he was trying hard the whole game, whereas Helder Costa on the other side lacked a lot again. I think we've seen over the last couple of weeks he looked as if he was getting back into form. And he did have a couple of runs yesterday, but as a whole performance, I thought he was really lacking. And the defence for the first time this season were poor. They were slow to react and they were clumsy and nervy, which then led to John Ruddy being nervy at the back as well, punching a few times instead of catching the ball. Now, at the, at the time, I... I was unsure of whether Ruddy was to blame for the first goal. The shot came in from Mitrovic and he made a good save down to his right. In the end, I think I accept now that he he wasn't at fault. He made a save down to his right and then Bennett just stopped on the edge of the box. He didn't continue to track his man and then Sessegnon had an easy tap in. So that was really, really disappointing. The second goal... From Again, so far out, perhaps Ruddy could have saved it. I haven't had, actually had the chance to look at it again. So yeah, the last three games of this week have been really, really tough. And to have only picked up two points out of nine is a little bit of a worry. But it's been pointed out by lots of people that in the season that we did get promoted in 2009, that Wolves didn't win a single game in February. We've got a handful of games over the next month or two which are certainly winnable, but we need to make sure that we do win them. I think the emphasis is on the, the players now, and can the players see us over the line? Because if you were at any other team, or if any other team was top by 10 points, or by 9 points of second place, it could be 6 today if uh, Cardiff beat Bristol. But if any other team was that far clear, you would say, well, they're up, they're just having a little bit of a blip at the moment, it's fine. But because we're Wolves and because we've done this before, it's just in the back of our minds that it could be easily thrown away. So the players need to step up, show the little bit of experience that they've got. They've played in the Champions League, lots of them. They've played at higher levels. They just need to make sure that they see out these results now. Somebody else pointed out yesterday on Twitter that... Nuno only won one of his last nine games last season at Porto, which ultimately led them to losing the title. But in that time, 
uh, they only lost one game as well, so a lot of draws, <laughs> and perhaps that's what we could see in the next couple of weeks as well, lots of tight games, lots of teams have sussed us out now, lots of teams have worked out how to play against us, and they realise that if they press high against our defence, they can cause mistakes, so we just need to learn from that and make sure that they don't happen again. Let me know what you thought of yesterday's performance. Was there anybody that stood out to you as being particularly poor or particularly good? Uh, what would you do now about the John Ruddy situation? Would you blame him for either of those goals? And would you put in Will Norris for next Saturday against Reading? Ruddy looking a little bit nervous. Let me know. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out Talking Wolves, the other YouTube channel. See you.